So Dr. Venekamp, can you tell us, um, if I come in with a headache, what might you look for or ask me? Probably the first thing I'll ask is how long have you had this headache? How long have you, have you been suffering from headaches? Is there anything you can think of that you did and then suddenly you started having headaches? Were you in a car accident? Did you fall onto your tailbone, which is one of the most missed accidents or injuries to the spine that causes headaches, oddly enough? I'd ask what you're taking. Have you been to a medical doctor or a neurologist of any kind uh, trying to figure out, or any other type of uh, practitioner trying to figure out the origin or the source of your headache? Those are probably my first questions, which okay. are a bunch. And what, what is the difference, is there a difference between headaches and migraines? Between headaches and migraines? There, are, there is a difference. Um, generally, um, tension headaches is one type of thing, like I've overdone it or I've slept wrong or I've, uh, you know, I've been in a, a little bit of a slip and fall or something like that. Um, migraine headaches, on the other hand, can be organic. They can actually come from um, functions on the inside of the head, in the brain itself, causing issues um, that um, are so so severe that they're, they're blinding. You know what I'm saying? So you can actually have migraines happening on one side of the head or the other. You can have it come from um, your bite being off on your TMJ. You can have pressure at, having received like a you know a, a hit to the head or a hit to the uh, jaw, and that can start you on your um, your path towards migraines. Another thing, especially for women, is hormonally you can have migraines where your hormones get um, depleted or off, they're not reproducing properly, your thyroid isn't functioning up to, up to snuff, your female hormones um, can be off, and those are things that I assess here at the office using applied kinesiology, muscle testing type of things, and see if we can't get you back in line uh, just hormonally. Um, Another thing is toxicity. Mm -hmm. You can actually be in a, in a realm of toxicity and don't even know it. You're drinking Diet Coke. You are, um, you, know, you're, you live next to some sort of a metal plant or maybe a concrete plant and it's blowing all this awful stuff at you and you don't realize that you're breathing all that in. These things can all be sources of headache or migraine. So it's complex, that's for sure. Um, if you walk down the aisle of your grocery store, on both sides, high and low, you're having all of these different types of Excedrin, Advil, Aleve, migraine, uh, Aleve and, and uh, Excedrin sinus, Aleve and Excedrin just headache, you know, just all these pills. They dedicated an entire aisle just for pain, and most of it's headache. So it's a pretty complex thing. Okay, and real quick, what would you um, do for a treatment? Well, chiropractically, obviously, we are going to look at the source of where the pain basically would be coming from. So, base of the skull, your first cervical, your second cervical, all the way up to your second thoracic vertebra. Because even a component of the heart uh, nerve can be creating headaches. So, we would go in, we would attempt to assess and adjust those areas, getting the pressure off of the nervous system, getting the pressure off of the 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 inflammation and the tension off of the nerves so that we can hopefully get the body to rest and come back to its normalcy or what we call homeostasis which is just normal get back to normal again get the pressure and tension out so okay very all right. cool all right thank you so much for your expertise today you bet. thank you abigail